Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we feed on sorrow. I'm your host, E, and today we're leaving our DNA all over this bit. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books, so if you haven't read them all, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about The Outsider by Stephen King. So how does The Outsider tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's get into that. Unlike the vast majority of all of the original theorist videos, I really like how I did the one, the original video for The Outsider. So I'm going to be showing several clips, highly edited, but several clips from the original video before we get started. And then at the end, I will be talking about user comments or viewer comments. What exactly are you guys using? Now for a word from this baby-faced bastard. The funniest part about this is it almost feels as if, if you've watched this entire series so far, it feels as if Stephen King, I know he didn't, don't get me wrong, like Stephen King wrote this book just to confirm everything that I have said up until this point. Right off the bat, um, when the outsider dies, he releases little worm-like creatures. If you've read Dreamcatcher, when those entities, when they, inf well, when they infect, they start off as little worms, they, they call them shit weasels, but they're little worm-like alien creatures. Um, the Outsider also feeds off of sorrow, like Pennywise fed off fear. Also like Pennywise, he prefers children. Um, when Ralph and Holly finally confront the outsider at the end of the book, he asks them if they've ever met anyone like him. So he knows there are others like him. Now I'm going to stop you there, buddy, because you go on to say that he might, the outsider might have come from the Tommyknocker ship, from Dreamcatcher's ship, the, the Greys in Dreamcatcher's, the ship that they crash landed with. But what I think now, so I'm changing my theory, what I think now is that the outsider is the leftover eggs that the Losers Club failed to destroy. Another thing is the outsider is a shapeshifter, um, and, but he works a little differently than Pennywise did. Um, Pennywise goes off of the fear, whereas this entity runs off of the blood. It uses the blood or the DNA of others to become them which I found really, really interesting. What Chungus failed to mention is why he found that so interesting. Don't worry, I got you. If you'll recall, in the short story Grey Matter, a little boy goes to a bar or a general store, I can't remember which, goes there to tell them that something has happened to his father. When those people go to investigate the house, they find a creature in the house that has either A, taken over his father's body, or replaced him. What makes this so intriguing to me is that the outsider, the creature that is the outsider, has been around, or creatures like him have been around all the way back in Night Shift when King published Grey Matter in his very first short story collection. Also, those are older stories that he just finally compiled so this idea has been bouncing around in his head since the beginning two more connections before we get to the viewer comments left on the original video the outsider mentions ka which is a direct reference to the dark tower series and also the outsider is mentioned in at the end of bag of bones but i said that in the bag of bones redux video this comment from johnny smith 7086 has this to say about how the outsider uses jake haskins like pennywise uses henry bowers in it next up we have a wild wild theory and i'm not sure if it makes sense in the king universe but it could always be another turn of the wheel it's this comment from zach's books who brings up Ralph Anderson and Ralphie Anderson from Storm of the Century. Ralph Anderson is in The Outsider. It is a very, it, it's, it's a very generic name, but could it be, could it be that R little Ralphie Anderson in another turn of the wheel didn't end up going with Linoge from Storm of the Century and he ended up being a cop in Flint City? 
Who knows? But I like it, and I wanted to point it out. Thanks, Zach. I, I, I love this. I completely missed it. Uh, I've only read Storm of the Century, I think, twice. And the first time, I didn't care much for it. Second time, I didn't either. But that's just because I don't like the format. I don't care much for the scripts. But anyways, thanks, Zach. This is, this is a very cool comment, very cool theory. And I'm wondering if there's more to do a deep dive on here. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything... If you have any corrections of anything I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, please leave them down there in the comment section. But until next time, thought only gives the world an appearance of order to anyone weak enough to be convinced by its show. Colin Wilson, The Country of the Blind. All hail the chair.